हेलो स्टूडेंट जय स्वामीनारायण टूडे वी स्टार्ट विथ बायो मेडिकल वेस्ट जनरेशन एंड मैनेजमेंट यूनिट नंबर टू चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स एज पर द इन मेडिकल वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट एंड हैंडलिंग रूल्स 1988 amended in 2016 of government of india biomedical waste is defined as any waste which is generated during the diagnosis that is act of identifying disease okay that is called diagnosis and treatment or immunization of the human beings or animals or research activities it includes the waste is like shops शार्प स्टार्ट में जिससे हम करकट कर सकते हैं स्किन को और पंचर कर सकते हैं दिस वन इज कॉल्ड शार्प शार्प वेस्ट डिस्पोजेबल्स देन एटोमिकल वेस्ट दैट इज आइडेंटिफाइबल बॉडी पार्ट्स दैट इज कॉल्ड एटोमिकल वेस्ट एंड डिस्कार्डेड मेडिसिंस केमिकल वेस्ट एक्सेट्रा दिस वेस्ट इज पोटेंशियली हैजार्डस एंड मेनी मेन हैजार्ड बीइंग इंफेक्शंस एंड मेनी पोज ए सीरियस ट्रीट and may pose a serious threat to human health if its management is uh, uh, discriminate and unscientific It, that means isse ki aapko infection or uh, disease ho sakta hai iski wajah se aapko iska management proper karna chahiye biomedical waste is sometimes also referred as health care waste biomedical waste may be solid or liquid example of the inf uh, infectious waste which can transmit any and infections this is includes discarded blood shops on watered microbiological cultures cultures and stocks identifiable body parts other human or animal tissues used bandages dressings discarded gloves other medical supplies that may have been in contact with the blood and body fluids and laboratory waste that exhibits the characteristics described below the waste shops includes potentially contaminated waste needles and scalpels then uh, lancets and other devices capable of penetrating the skin non infectious waste forms about 85 percentage of the total biomedical waste jisme se 85 percent hum aisa bol sakte hai ki isme infection nahi ho sakta hai okay then as per our study done in gujarat was found that 25 per, uh, 26 percent of doctors and 43 percent of paramedical staff were aware of the risk related to the biomedical waste तो 26% ऑफ डॉक्टर्स और जो पैरामेडिकल स्टाफ है उसको पता नहीं है कि बायोमेडिकल वेस्ट से क्या क्या रिस्क हो सकता है ओके दिस इंडिकेट्स द ग्रीमीनेस ऑफ द सिचुएशन थर्स देयर इज अ नीड फॉर इंक्रीजिंग द अवेयरनेस एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ अ प्रॉपर अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम फॉर डीलिंग विद द बायोमेडिकल वेस्ट इन ऑर्डर टू मिनिमाइज द हेल्थ हैजार्ड एसोसिएटेड विद इट sources of biomedical waste principal sources of biomedical waste are government and private hospitals nursing jahan jahan pe bhi research work hota hai aur medical activities hoti hai okay to wahan pe wahan se hi biomedical waste generate hota hai government and private hospitals nursing homes clinics of physicians and dentists primary health care centers medical research and training centers animal slaughter house and pathological laboratories vaccination centers biotech institution Bio, uh, biotech institutions and production units classification or characteristics of the biomedical waste in practice it is very difficult to identify and segregate segregate each article of medical waste from the solid waste stream therefore the medical waste is categorized into group which are amenable to specific treatment and disposable method as per the biomedical waste management and handling rules 1998 the biomedical waste has been grouped into following 10 categories human and uh, ano uh, anatomical waste that is human tissues organs body parts etc animal waste animal tissues organs body parts then car car se uh, car carcasses then blood uh, bleeding parts fluid blood blood and experimental animals okay used in research waste generated by the veterinary hospitals 
colleges, discharge from the hospitals, animal houses, etc. Microbiological and biotechnical uh, technology, uh, technology waste, waste from the laboratory clutchers, stocks or specimens of the microorganisms, live or animated vaccines, human and animal cell clutcher used in cell clutcher used in research and infection agents from the research and industrial laboratories, waste from the production of biological toxins, toxins then dishes and devices used for the transfer of the clutchers. Waste shops, waste shops, needles, spearings, uh, then uh, scapsules, scapsules, knife with small and sharp blade, then blades, glass, etc. that may cause the puncture and cuts. This includes both used and unused shops, discarded medicines and uh, psychotoxic drugs, waste comprising of the outdated, expired, contaminated and discarded medicines. Solid waste tops contaminated with blood and body fluids including cotton dressing, soil plaster, cast linen, then bedding, then other uh, materials contamin conta contaminated with the blood. Solid waste waste generated from the disposal items other than the waste shops such as tubing, then catheters, then uh, intravenous sets, etc. Liquid waste, waste generated from the laboratory, washing, cleaning, housekeeping and dis disinfecting, then incineration, uh, ash, ash from the incineration, incineration of the, incineration of the, any biomedical waste. Chemical waste, chemical incineration as that means, incineration procedure mein jo bhi, uh, ash create hota hai, okay. This one is called biomedical incineration ash. The chemical waste, chemical used in the infections, for example, insecticides, pesticides, etc. Generation of the biomedical waste, generation rate of the biomedical waste depends on number, kind, size of the departments in the healthcare facility, that is hospital, number of the beds or patients, admitted types of specialties of the hospital, Reusable items employed in delivering the healthcare services, the level of instrumentation, medical waste, uh, uh, medical waste segregation system adopted, then uh, law, uh, local legislations, then established waste management system, etc. For the development of the proper waste management system, reliable data of the generation of the biomedical waste should be available. In India, only few medical facilities have carried out proper quantification of the waste generated. Generally, developed countries have a generation rate of 1 to 5 kg per bed per day, while that of the developing country is about 1 to 2 kg per bed per day. Table 6.1 gives the average biomedical generation rate based on the available literature. The generation rate of the biomedical waste for the different countries, country India, the generation rate kitna hai itna, that Jordan, generation, biomedical generation rate kitna hai itna, to yaha pe alag alag countries mein kitna uh, biomedical waste generate hota hai, iska rates di hai. The approximate number of the beds in the healthcare center government in India is uh, uh, 7,10,761 as per the National Health Profile of India 2018. If we consider the minimum generation rate of 0 0.25 kg per bed per day, then the local estimated quantity of the biomedical waste generated would be 7,10,761 uh, into 0 0.25, that is 1,99,013 kg or approximately 199 tons per day. This is quantity generated by only government sector. Quantity generated by the private hospital has to be added, which would further increase the total quantity of the waste generated as per the CBC, uh, CPCB data, about 3 million tons of the biomedical. Waste is generated uh, per year in India with grow, grow, growth rate of 8% per year. Therefore, proper management system should be in place to handle this large quantity of waste generated. <coughs> Biomedical 
Waste is uh, potentially hazardous and main hazard being infection. and may pose a serious threat to human health if <coughs> its management is discriminate and unscientific. Main functional elements are segregation and storage, transportation to the treatment facilities and treatment. Segregation and storage. This stage is very crucial to the whole management process because it is at this stage that we start segregated as infections and non-infectious. Thus, the minimizing the risk to staff and public as well as the source resource used for the treatment process, uh, treatment purpose. Separation, uh, segregation of the waste allows special attention to be given to the relatively small quantities of the waste. Segregation starts mainly with the doctors and nurses. The con containers for the sorting segregated waste should be clearly identifiable. The base system is to use the colored bag, bag plastic और कंटेनर्स आपने देखा होगा हॉस्पिटल्स में कलर बैग और प्लास्टिक रखा होता है कंटेनर्स रखा होता है जिसमें कौन सा वेस्ट कहां पे डालना है वो लिखा होता है द कलर कोडिंग एंड टाइप ऑफ द कंटेनर्स फॉलोड एज पर द शेड्यूल वन ऑफ द बायोमेडिकल वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट एंड हैंडलिंग रूल्स 2016 अमेंडेड ऑफ 1988 रूल्स इज एज फॉलोस रेड बैग रेड बैग में क्या रखना है आपको स्पीरिंज है then soiled gloves है, soiled gloves है, then catheters है, IV tube etc should be all disposed of in a red color bag, which will later be incinerated. Yellow bag, all dressing, bandages, cotton webs with the body fluids, then blood bags, human autonomical waste, body parts are to be discarded in yellow bag. Then cardboard box with the blue marking, glass wheels, then ampules, other glassware is to be discarded in cardboard box with a blue marking stickers. White puncture proof container, needles, sharps, blades are disposed of in a white transluent puncture proof container. Transient puncture proof containers, black bags, these are to be used for the non biomedical waste in hospital setup. This includes stationary vegetable fruit peels, then leftovers, then packaging, including that from the medicine, disposable caps, then disposable masks, disposable shoe covers, disposable tea cups, cartoons, swapping dust, kitchen waste, etc. Plastic bags for the storing the waste may be suspended in, inside a frame or be placed inside a sturdy containers. A lid should be provided to cover the opening of the bag at the top. So, what do you do? You use these plastic bags to you use uh, suspend karna hai. inside a frame or be placed inside a container. container mein आपको सस्पेंड करना है। ए लीड शुड बी प्रोवाइडेड टू कवर द ओपनिंग ऑफ लीड शुड बी प्रोवाइडेड टू कवर द ओपनिंग ऑफ द बैग एट द टॉप। द लेबलिंग ऑफ द कंटेनर शुड आल्सो बी एस पर द शिड्यूल ऑफ द बायोमेडिकल रूल्स 2016 व्हिच इंक्लूड्स डिटेल्स रिलेटेड टू द टाइम एंड प्लेस ऑफ जनरेशन, दें कैटेगरी ऑफ द वेस्ट, नेम एंड कांटेक्ट Biomedical waste should not be stored for more than 48 hours. Biohazard symbols and cytotoxic hazard symbols. The biomedical waste should never be transported with general municipal waste. That means, जो भी हमारे पास solid waste होता है, उसके लिए जो transportation facility होती है, वो उसका use हम नहीं कर सकते. They should be kept separate at all the stages. Special vehicles must be used so as to prevent the access to and direct contact with the waste by transportation operators and scavengers and the public. Special vehicle must be used so as to prevent access to the direct contact with the waste. तो स्पेशल व्हीकल इसमें यूज होता है जिसमें जो भी स्कैवेंजर है ऑपरेट 
ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑपरेटर है और पब्लिक है वो डायरेक्ट कांटेक्ट में नहीं आ सकते ट्रांसपोर्ट ट्रांसपोर्ट कंटेनर शुड बी प्रॉपरली एनक्लोज एंड इफेक्ट ऑफ ट्राफिक एक्सीडेंट्स शुड बी कंसिडर्ड इन द डिजाइन तो जो भी ट्रांसपोर्ट कंटेनर है प्रॉपरली क्लोज होना चाहिए द इफेक्ट ऑफ ट्राफिक एक्सीडेंट शुड बी कंसिडर्ड इन डिजाइन एंड तो फॉर एग्जाम्पल ट्राफिक एक्सीडेंट होगा तो क्या इफेक्ट होगा वो सब डिजाइन में कंसिडर करना होता है द ड्राइवर ड्राइवर मस्ट बी ट्रेन इन द प्रोसीजर ही शुड फॉलो इफ देर इज एन एक्सीडेंशियल स्पीलेज ओके द ड्राइवर मस्ट बी ट्रेन इन अ प्रोसीजर ही शुड फॉलो इफ देर इज एन एक्सीडेंशियल स्पीलेज तो ड्राइवर को ट्रेन किया गया होता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल स्पीलेज हुआ तो क्या करना चाहिए द इंटीरियर ऑफ द बॉडी ऑफ द व्हीकल शुड बी थरली वॉस्ड वेन एवर दैर इज ए स्पीलेज विद इन द व्हीकल तो फॉर एग्जाम्पल आप इंटीरियर बॉडी ऑफ द व्हीकल जो है वो थरली वॉश करना चाहिए जब भी स्पीलेज व्हीकल में स्पीलेज होता है ओके आप क्या करते हो वो प्लास्टिक बैग में वो सब रख के आपको ट्रांसपोर्ट करना होता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल प्लास्टिक बैग में से बायोमेडिकल वेस्ट स्पील हुआ ओके गिरा तो उसको क्या करना चाहिए वॉश करना चाहिए व्हीकल को There are five broad categories of the treatment tech, uh, technologies which can be used for the treating biomedical waste. This in these technologies are mechanical processes, thermal processes, chemical processes, then irradiation processes and biological processes. Mechanical processes. Mechanical processes are used to change the physical forms or characteristics of the waste, either to facilitate waste handling or to process the waste in conjunction with other treatment steps. The two primary mechanical processes are compaction and shredding. Compaction involves the compressing the waste into containers to reduce its volume. Shredding, which also includes the granulation, grinding. पल्पिंग एक्सेट्रा इज यूज टू ब्रेक द वेस्ट इन टू स्मॉलर पीसेस तो स्ट्रीडिंग का मतलब क्या है कि आप जो भी वेस्ट है उसको ग्रेन्यूल्स में या छोटे छोटे ग्रेन्स में डिवाइड करते हो ओके जिसकी वजह से वो स्मॉल स्मॉल स्पीसीस में ओके कन्वर्ट होता है Typically, compaction and shredding are adopted only after the waste has to be decontaminated so as to avoid the danger of spilling and Aerosoling of the microorganisms present in the waste. So compaction or shredding, adopt तभी कर सकते हो. Are adopted only after the waste has been, जब ये waste भी contaminated होता है, तभी ये procedure कर सकते हो. जिसकी वजह से, so as to avoid the danger of spilling and aerosoling of the microorganism present in the waste. For कई बार क्या होता है ये प्रोसीजर करते समय स्पीलेज होता है तो आपको क्या है डिकॉन्टामिनेटेड वेस्ट है तो वो सब डेंजर नहीं रहेगा ओके जो भी जो भी माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म वेस्ट में प्रेजेंट है उसकी वजह से जो इंफेक्शन वगैरह का डेंजर होता है तो डिस डिकॉन्टामिनेशन है डिकॉन्टामिनेटेड वेस्ट कैसा होना चाहिए डिकॉन्टामिनेटेड होना चाहिए तो डिकॉन्टामिनेटेड में आपका वेस्ट ही डिकॉन्टामिनेटेड है दैट मीन्स आप डिकॉन्टामिनेटेड वेस्ट को आप प्रोसीजर करोगे तो जो भी माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म वगैरह प्रेजेंट हो गए आपने डिकॉन्टामिनेट कर दिया तो फिर जो भी उसकी वजह से इन्फेक्शन वगैरह का जो डेंजर होगा वो नहीं होगा आपकी हेल्थ को कोई प्रॉब्लम रहेगा नहीं और कोई इन्फेक्शन आपकी हेल्थ में नहीं होगा ओके थर्मल प्रोसेसिस थर्मल प्रोसेसिस यूज He to decontaminate or destroy the medical waste. तो thermal process में क्या होता है जो भी use heat to decontaminate or destroy medical waste. Decontaminate or destroy medical waste जो है okay तो उसको heat करने के लिए use होता है Most microorganisms can be rapidly destroyed at temperature ranging from 49 degree to 91 centigrade. Most living organisms are killed at 100 degree centigrade. There are two categories of the thermal processes, namely low heat system and high heat system. Low heat system are steam, hot water, electromagnetic radiation to heat and decontaminate the waste. 
and typically operate at temperature of less than 150 degrees centigrade which is insufficient to combust or destroy the material high heat system low heat system mein kya hota hai use the steam steam ka use hota hai hot water ka use hota hai electromagnetic radiation ka use hota hai to heat and to heat or decontaminate the waste they typically operate at temperature of less than 150 degree centigrade se less temperature mein wo operate hota hai which is insufficient to combust or destroy the materials वो इनसफिशियंट होता है कोई भी मटेरियल को डिस्ट्रॉय करने के लिए जलाने के लिए ओके हाई हीट हाई हीट सिस्टम एम्प्लॉय कंबस्टर पायरोलोसिस एंड हाई टेंपरेचर प्लाज्मा टू डीकंटामिनेट एंड डिस्ट्रॉय द वेस्ट दिस सिस्टम ऑपरेट एट द टेंपरेचर रेंजिंग फ्रॉम एज लो एज 600 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड टू एज हाई एज 5500 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड द बेसिक थर्मल ट्रीटमेंट प्रोसेसेस आर एज फॉलोस 